So there was a little bit of a content drop today, including double XP week, which just started. If you guys are excited for all the new content out today, including double XP and all the content for the future, be sure to leave a like on this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Maybe comment down below who you guys are hoping for the fifth inning program. That's dropping on July 30th. So today... We have Thursday content, double XP week, conquest map, split squad, two event, and tops now moments. So we're going to go ahead and check out that. Tomorrow we got a headliner and then the fifth inning drop in on July 30th. So let's just go over everything that's new right now. The first thing that we want to focus on are the tops now moments, okay? And from what I've heard and seen already, I'm a little bit late getting this video up. I apologize. But from what I've heard and seen... The new Tops Now cards are kind of crazy. We got a Jaron Duran call-up card. We got Max Freed, three for three, two RBIs, and seven shutdown innings pitched, okay? So that card can hit and pitch. He's going to be kind of nasty. I'll show you all in a second. Jed Lowry, diamond switch hitter, one of the better switch hitter swings, in my opinion, in the game. So I'm excited to try on that card. And then Will Myers, two homers, seven RBIs. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do for the moment and then check out the attributes for these cards tops now 2021 july 12th through the 18th also remember to start stocking up on these cards okay the price not not these right here sorry um start stocking up on these cards man the prices are gonna start going up once people realize you need them for the july player of the month including these ones from this week but we have hit one homer with jet lowry one plate appearance simple moment will myers tally eight total bases in a game first one on veteran this one on rookie difficulty jake cronenworth tally six total bases in a game on rookie tally one hit and pitch four innings with max free that should be kind of fun one that's on rookie for that and the card that you're using does have pretty decent hitting attributes so it shouldn't be super hard to do we got jaron duran tally one hit off of garrett cole veteran difficulty and then hit one homer with Jacob Stallings, probably going to, I was going to say it should be a grand slam, but this is in one game. It's not one plate appearance, but rookie difficulty for that one nonetheless. And now let's go take a look at the attributes for these four cars that we can see right there. From what I've seen and heard, they're pretty solid, which I'm hoping is the case. Go over to tops now. Here's Max Fried right here. Also, I suck at pronouncing names. You guys already know that. We got him though, 94 overall. Four seam curve slider sinker change. So the pitch selection is not bad. 98 hits per nine. That's what shrinks the size of your opponent's PCI. Pretty good at 98. 99 break. 83 below. 81 control. If you want to see each individual pitch attribute, look in the top right. Velocity, control, and the break on those pitches. And one thing to keep in mind too is that these are free cards, right? You get these from doing tops now moments. They're not going to be the best of the best of the best cards. But for being a free card, Having a sinker, having the hits per nine that high, having these hitting attributes, that's not bad at all. Obviously, it's not amazing, but for a free starting pitcher, I feel like this is really solid. Pretty cool to see. Then we got Will Myers right here, 96-67 for the contact, 107-96 for the power, right field primary, but also plays first, third, left, and center with his gold defense, 72 speed, 80 reaction, 79 fielding. 73 arm strength with 70 for the arm accuracy next up is jed lowry this is the one i'm probably most excited for Ooh, okay so second base primary also plays first third and short diamond hitting and diamond defense 107 and 95 for the contact that's huge from a low diamond switch hitter 105 and 80 for the power 71 fielding 79 arm strength 92 arm accuracy 79 reaction and then 40 speed so for me what i'm looking at is the tournament on saturday the summer circuit i think maybe it is through battle fi i'm gonna be the show tournament and i'm looking at this card as one of my maybe mid-tier diamonds because you can have a certain amount of high diamonds mid-tier and then the rest of your cards 84 and lower so i'm looking at this on legend difficulty that contact's not bad man having that contact from a low tier diamond and having some good pop in the bat and some decent fielding i'm looking at this like yeah this is a card that i might want for that tournament man he could be a solid mid-tier diamond and just for a free diamond in general is not looking too bad and then the other card uh i don't remember who it was was it jared duran or do we already look at him yeah yeah yeah. so he's right here and it looks like people already have the cards i'm not surprised i'm a little bit late on this video but let's check out his attributes right here 
112 and 108 for the contact, 83, 73 for the power, 92 speed in the outfield, 81 fielding with 75 reaction. His arm's not too great, not very accurate. The strength is okay at 77, but for a free card and for a dude that just got called up and got his first MLB hit, it's pretty cool having this version of a card. Obviously, it's not a future stars or anything like that, but I feel like it's pretty cool having this version of the card already. So that is tops now, the new cards, the moments. Uh, we also have a new conquest map. I'm going to assume it's part of the fourth inning program. Let me check. So yeah, I'm assuming it's this map right here, the life. Let's go check this out here. We have a one, two, three, four, five strongholds. And it's one of these though. Ooh, so capture the Orioles on the first turn. Capture the Brewers on or before the second turn. Yankees on or before the third. And then conquer all territories. So, wait. How many? Okay, oh, oh, oh. This makes some more sense. You got 46 here. So, it says capture the Orioles on the first turn. And then Brewers second or earlier. Yankees third or earlier. So, that's interesting. All right. So, what I would probably do is just, you know, make a straight B line for the Orioles. Obviously, you're probably going to need to simulate some games, take over some strongholds. But I would probably just go straight over and try to get to the Orioles. And then probably go to the Brewers and then the Yankees and then just finish the map. But there's that. I'm sure there's hidden packs along the way. You also get some XP towards the fourth inning program. And it's double XP week. So that means when you're playing the game, you're getting double XP. You will be getting double gameplay XP. The double XP does not count towards the program though, okay? If we check out the fourth inning program and you guys can see, you get 25,000 XP right there. If you do that conquest map during double XP, you are not going to get 50,000. That is not where the double XP comes in. The double XP comes in for the gameplay XP. You know how after you finish a game, it says, oh, plus 467 XP. That is where the double XP is coming in, okay? It's not coming in for those missions and stuff like that. You don't get double XP for those. So that is the tops now moments, the conquest map. Let me see if there's anything else new today. I kind of forgot. Oh, the new events. Let's go see what the new event is real quick, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New event. So, new event right here. Split Squad 2. This is the last event, by the way. This ends July 27th. This is the last event that is going to have these rewards. I'm 10 wins away, so I got to make sure I get these final 10 wins before July 27th at 11 a.m. Pacific. Quick counts are also on for this one. All straight difficulty, three any games. American League pitchers and infielders, National League outfielders, or any all-star series players. So I might have to be debuting Bryce Harper in this mode. That'd be kind of fun. But that is the new event. Again, this is the last event with these rewards, if I'm not mistaken. So I got to make sure I'm getting those 10 wins and getting those cards. Now let's go ahead and check the calendar one more time before we piece it out for y'all. As y'all can see, new headliner dropping tomorrow. Set 25 featuring a signature series legend. I'm expecting like a 97-6 series. Maybe a reliever, something like that. And then fifth inning program dropping on July 30th. That is a week from tomorrow, right? If I'm not mistaken. And what I will say is I'm probably going to do predictions for that. Also, roster update coming out on that day as well. The next roster update is on july 30th i wanted to make sure i mentioned that in this video next roster update july 30th so coming up in the next few days next week or so i'm going to be having roster update predictions i'm going to be having fifth inning boss predictions and i might even be having the player of the month program predictions if i do those those will probably come out on on august 1st for me but we'll have to wait and see but hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i talk kind of fast during these i just don't want it to be super long i just want to try to cover the new content that came out but i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day peace out